Day 17 is comfort. I think for this particular entry, I'll focus on the importance of beer and pretzels kinds of games. Now don't get me wrong, I like intense story and I like a lot of lore with um, various games that I've played, but as I've often said, sometimes I want a full course meal per with wine prepared by a sommelier and all that, and sometimes I just want a burger and a beer. And you need to have both in order to really have a balanced RPG diet, which I know might sound odd with having something this out as something like a burger and a beer, but the point is you can't rely on just one edge of it alone because you're going to get burned out on it. If you have too much of the burger and beer, you're eventually going to want something more that it's not going to provide. And if you have too much of the other end of things, you're going to want something that's not as intensive eventually. To this end, I do think that a large amount of the um, old school play is definitely furthering that whole burger and beer approach. Even if I do think certain parts of the OSR community take themselves a little bit too seriously. That being said, when it comes to burger and beer, the... Um, genre that really exemplifies this is beer and pretzels kind of games. Games that, while they can be taken seriously if someone wants to, are not meant to be. Um, the poster child for this, for me, has always been Paranoia, but stuff like Toon or Bunnies and Burrows can also apply. Typically, these are going to be games that are simpler in crunch and not designed for any sort of long-term play. A lot of them will probably be over and done with um, pretty quickly. Um, in some cases, the beer and pretzels thing is literal because, as was mentioned in the Mork Borg interview, originally the rule set for that was just one page long so they could play it in a bar. And there's been similar ones like that, such as lasers and feelings for Trek conventions or unbelievable macho bullshit, yes, that is the actual name, for people who like doing Arnie impressions. Looking at you, Maddie. If it comes back to anything on the matter, it's the fact that there's something out there for everyone, even within the beer and pretzels thing. There isn't just old school D&D to fit that particular mold. Besides, my personal go-to is either Drinking Quest or uh, Dungeon Slayers.